All right, so we have created the space. We are centered, grounded. We created a bubble of space and we created the golden cube of workspace for this space to be full of music, transformation, healing, discovery. This space is very much about discovery. And I, I want to open up this space by uh, asking you uh, what brings you to this space? What calls you here? Yeah, something about something about how I, music used to be a lot more in my life. And somehow, somehow it, it's not so much now. When it is, it's because it's kind of arrives, not mm -hmm. because I'm creating it or choosing it very often. And, and I feel sad about that. And when I've seen your offers and when I've heard about people who have come to your spaces about it and like just heard the, the legends, I, I was like, oh, I want that. And I want other people to have it. And, and so at first I would, at first I wanted to just share about you with other people. And then I thought, whoa, I, I could ask for that. And, and then I would know more clearly what there is to share and what like i would have my own legend to tell about it and and i'm i i want to be i'm on your team about that so this mm. is so winning happening for me mm. yeah thank you yeah and i hear about your yearning to have music more in your life where from a place where it emerges from you and not in a place that it arrives from the outside And uh, yeah, I'm turned on about this winning happening uh, space. And um, my commitment is for uh, activating, yeah, like activating the, the voice in uh, different ways that it can be activated. And, and music is a, is a big channel for that. Music is a, it, it's so mysterious music because it, it has this capacity like a capacity to to move us in such a way that it is almost unexplainable it's like a it's like a wave of of energy and, and emotions and and feelings that that just they can change her life it changed my life many times many times he has like mm. like like there is times where i've like heard music and it just like like makes me liquid and it motivates me it sends me into this journey of I, I i want i want music i want to make music i, I want to create music i want to sing i, I want to uh, listen to it i want to be other around others that are playing music yeah, yeah and uh, I, I remember the, this la the last time that that happened was very recently actually yeah it was actually like like a, a month or two ago where I listened to this song uh, called I Exist, Exist for Love from Aurora. Uh, it's an artist, it's a young woman called Aurora. Yeah, I know her. You probably I know about know her. her. I know of her, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and this song, I heard it one time and then it was like, wow, that's a beautiful song. And then I heard it again Great. when yeah. I was I heard it again when I was in a more liquid state, like like I was touching in with my sadness and practicing my sadness, and I just went into into tears. Like like the song just touched me so deeply that I just went into tears, and and uh, and I said, I want to learn that song. Uh, this song is just so amazing. I want to learn it. I want to sing it. And it's funny because he's like this young woman with this like very like fine voice, but I wanted to see what it sounded like from my voice. And it took a few a few weeks when I, I was like in the planning mode, and and then I was like, I want to learn it now. And then what I did was I put my headphones and I started like listening to it on repeat, on repeat, on repeat, on repeat. Then I look at the lyrics and I I was reading started reading the lyrics. 
uh, and then like reading the lyrics, singing the lyrics as I listened to it. And I did this like probably like uh, over 20 times. Uh, and I was in, in Vancouver. I was like, sleeping outside in the open sky in this place called uh, Le, Le Giardine Italiano, the Italian garden. <laughs> And uh, uh, I was like with my headphones, and it's just like, oh, like involved, like, like, it's like swimming in that water, swimming in that water, that swimming in that music. And and then after that, after that, the, the, the music was just in my being. That song was in my being, and, 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 and I was. Then the next step for me was to go into the guitar and look up the, the chords. And then the song was already in my being, so it was very easy to practice it. I practiced it a few times. And the chords, the song, seeing how it sounded with my voice. And, and then I, I can play it now. I, I got that mm -hmm. song and it's so much in my being. And that process took like, like a month or something like that. And it... I don't know why I'm sharing this story, but that that that's the last time that music touched my being, and and it keeps touching me. Like it was just played this morning. Melissa played it in the speakers, and it, like it's just like I get that that like like feeling of, of love and existing for love, and and it it's just like I want that. I, I want and I want to share that with others. I want to like open up those spaces for others and hold space for for others to go there and see what what what's their blockages, what's their what's their possibilities. What, what do they want? Mm. Yeah, go. <laughs> and I, I appreciate it. I was like feeling this morning, sensing this morning into because I started pra uh, warming up this morning. I was like, okay, I have a, I have a discovery called Winnie Cole. So I started warming up my voice. So, mm, mm, and I, I started sensing into the tension, so much tension that I put here. And, and, and yeah, like it was, a, I started uh, relaxing this, like noticing when I was clenching and tensing and there was like a tension here and I, ah, oh, like it's open and, like kind of like se I center center myself and it's like oh I have tension there, so I started like like uh, and that's I think that that could be like an, an experiment or a possibility that 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 you can start trying. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I already and, did just hearing you talk about it because I I know like I I ha I get this tension in my face, and just to like let it drain out like to unhold so that this this whole part of me is like in its place instead of being held up out of its place somehow yeah exactly and i could i could feel it as i was saying it i was seeing you and uh, uh scanning you and yeah like i could sense that uh, like it's like an opening uh yeah. what i what i will notice when i was here is like i'm in my uh, mental mental center like in the in my head and the, the process of relaxing is, or is it's relaxing but it's like opening and centering because the, the center goes down and then the tension from here it yeah. goes down and then this opens up because yeah. this the throat is deeply connected with the lips so when when your lips are tense, mm. the throat tenses up too. And mm. this is this is a habit that I have of tensing up my lips and and it, there is a great exercise experiment that we can do uh, right now. To, and we're just getting warmed up to to hearing you. Uh, uh, yeah, warming up to 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 allow for your sounds to to come out in this space. Yeah. Um, and this is a, 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 a for relaxing. You've probably done this if you've done music in the past. I think I remember you saying that you've done co choir. Yeah, choir and vocal jazz and musical theater and yeah, a lot of choir. Amazing. Yeah, even like now, now that I'm smiling, smiling, it creates like that that tension, and 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 it creates that 
that tension here in the throat too. So it's amazing. I remember like, the choir, the choir teacher saying, "Don't smile, you'll go sharp." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, exactly, because it tenses up here, and then you go too sharp, and that that that's why it's so powerful. Like the, this work that I've been doing with my anger and with centering, that. I can actually like be more in control of, of these muscles, more conscious, and uh, and there is like le less unconscious smiling or unconscious nervousness. Like I can yeah. be more in my center and and speak from there and and relax this. And it it's amazing. It's like playing an instrument. It's like oh. like when you are when you have like a guitar that you have to like move these fingers at the same time that you move these fingers and at the same time that you're moving your arm, at the same time that you're singing, and then it's like different things playing at the same time. Yeah. So it feels kind of like that, like staying in my center with my voice, my authority, and while this is relaxed and this is allowing the, the sounds to, to come out. Mm. Um, okay, so the, this experiment, it, you pucker up your lips like that, and and you go... <laughs> yeah. and you can use your fingers to to kind of like create a pressure here we're gonna make some funny faces right now <laughs> Yeah, I hear that. Yeah, and, and try uh, to see like that to aim in use your intention to relax this to to relax your your face your muscles to warm it up and allow it to go into that space where it's like 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 you can like sense every every muscle and every muscle is in place and move your jaw and yeah you can use your, your intention to to do that to kind of like bring your face to presence aim aim to to do the the oscillation uh, as low as you can so instead of going trrr, you go ta 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 so as as slow as you can yeah, and it create it creates some tingling on the nose and uh i think this is like like clear clearing like to me too, I feel it. I feel the tingling in the nose. I... Great. I I recently met with uh, my teacher, my deep throat singing teacher, um, maybe like a month ago, Matthew Cosell. He's an amazing teacher, and and uh, he has this deep voice that he. Uh, Anyways, I met with him at his home and we did these experiments, these exercises. I was so nervous. I was I was nervous because I invited him to to jam together if we could like sing a song together. And uh, I got like I became really scared of of, 
and then I started noticing my tension here and how my center was going to him uh, from him being like the experienced teacher. And it was like a, like we did this warm up. We took a, like maybe like five to 10 minutes to warm up uh, so that I can like go into this process of reclaiming my, my center uh, and reclaiming my face, my muscles. And, and then by the end of it, I wasn't laughing so much. I wasn't, I didn't have this nervous laugh. Mm. But it, it took it took it took a bit of time. Cool. <clears throat> so I I hear you. I I want to just jump jump into it. I want to jump into going in. And to, so the way that the discovering your music being goes, uh, that I've been doing it is, uh, uh, I ask you to go into your center. We do a little centering ex experiment or exercise to, to feel your center. And then I'm going to ask you to, to start making sounds, to, to make sounds in the form of music, to let, let the music sounds with your feelings, to use your feelings to, to create sounds. Uh, so I propose that that we go uh, there, and and then there might be more more that comes from there. Yeah. Cool. Okay, Nicole. So take a deep breath and use your intention to bring your energetic center to your physical center. It's about the size of a grapefruit. It's located in between your hips, just under your belly button, a few fingers just under your belly button. And allow yourself to feel all of your body from your center. Feel your shoulders, feel your hands, your, your arms, your legs, your feet to feel your throat, your neck, feel your, your jaw, your lobes of your ear, feel your nose and your eyebrows, your forehead, and feel your hair on your head and the top, the crown of your head. And while still keeping your intention in having your center in your physical center. And use your clicker now to declare your grounding core one more time. Your grounding core that goes from your center to the center of Gaia. And if you can share at the count of three, the color of your grounding cord. One, two, three. Purple. Brown. Yeah, and this is a two-way communication. You can become Gaia's mouth you can become a mouth a voice for Gaia too you can sing for Gaia and allow Gaia to inspire you allow this connection to Gaia to inspire you uh, and to to move your voice and this is just one experiment and use your clicker one more time to create your bubble of space around you mm. This is your bubble of space, your, your, your senses, your feelings, your thoughts. This is your culture, your culture, culture of Nicole, the culture of Jorge. We're here in, in a, having a culture to culture conversation about discovering your music being. Mm. And I'm gonna use my clicker one more time to create a golden cube of space for allowing this work 
to have a space to manifest itself for for this for your voice for your sounds to come into the space in the form of a discovery something that is completely new something that where you can be vulnerable and a space where you can unfold where your voice can unfold so when when you're ready you can either keep your eyes closed or open i'm fine either way and just allow the sounds from your being to start coming out and we're gonna do this for about uh, th three minutes or so um. <clears throat> And you can, yeah, and it can show up in the form of homes, in the form of there is no right or wrong way to do this. These are just your sounds and your creation. to a pause and take a deep breath and I'm gonna make a space for silence to to allow this to land this experiment that you just did
notice the your feelings your where is the tension in your especially in your throat in your jaw how was that during your experiment what happened what noticings do you have would you share when you're ready what noticings what do you notice from your ex, from this experiment I noticed how just how much vibrating I could feel in in more places in my body than I I remember ever feeling before when I made sounds. Yes. And there was this one part where the something seemed to kind of come up and start falling over and almost falling out of myself and I I was like, "Whoa." Oh, yeah. And then when I was silent afterward, my whole body kept vibrating and I could just, when you said and notice if there's tension, I noticed there, there was tension kind of down the front of my face, inside my face. And yeah, I was glad to notice and like, again, like drop like just drop it. And I was surprised at how big the sound got. Mm. And I, I did have this experience like you described of being an instrument, like letting my instrument uh, like be played like playing myself as as the instrument I am for sound. Yes. Could you tell me about in that about that what, what were the different parts, the different noticings that that you were noticing? Yeah. I could I could move where the sound was coming from. Yes. Like I could kind of it was a little bit like what you described about moving the fingers along the the on the to different frets and it was like different it would kind of go by these like yeah i i'm now i'm seeing the like music scale kind of like mm -hmm. it was really moving up and down and then sometimes in different directions like And then also depending on what I did with my mouth and my throat would kind of bend the sound or, or yeah, change it. Yes. And, and, and I can't, I, it's like the volume seemed to decide for itself how it was. And also how I used my ribs and lungs, like to my ribs to push and or not push the air out. Yes. Like the air through my throat where it would like have make changes. Yeah. And it was, I don't, I can't, I couldn't quite tell where my intention and just somehow what my body or bodies wanted to do as I noticed my feelings and like somehow when the feelings were noticed, it would change something. So like how the sound was being made would kind of on its own in a way change. Yes. When, when you will notice your feelings that the sound somewhat will change and and you will you will notice more your intention or you there will be like a connection with your intention yeah and it was a little bit like there was my intention and then there was i don't know something like 
what wanted to be expressed or come through and the my connection with my grounding cord yeah it seemed to like there was there was my part in it and then there was what was happening through the incoming channel of my grounding cord and yeah it's almost like i was kind of this speaker that was an instrument at the same time i was plugged into gaia and and then somehow also being powered by air moving through it's very cool i've never i've never i don't remember ever doing this before yes so it's also not like it's almost like I'm remembering, oh yeah, I can, I can do this. This, this can happen. Yes. Uh, I have an impulse and I'm picking up that there is an experiment that, that can be created from what you just shared about share about noticing your intentions. Uh, and and we, we're going to do this again for another two to three minutes. And and notice keep uh, keep noticing that grounding core your intention and, and especially what wants to emerge what wants to come into the space what and and notice that that your the the dance that you do with the air and your your intention and and also the uh, notice your feelings that seems to be connected with this thing that wants to emerge So this experiment will be to to notice in the yeah the intention and the the thing that wants to emerge and an experiment with that just let maybe let one get as big as it, as it is something like that let it get as big as it is um, and I'm I'm gonna be from here saying go or go. Um, maybe giving some coaching of like relax your jaw or, or uh, go go in your center i don't know I'll, I'll see if there is any coaching that comes from here okay and whenever you're ready go Let that come. Let that come to. Let that make. Let that have a sound. Yeah. Go. Let that have a sound.
Okay, let's come to a pause. That was about three minutes. Just keep breathing and let the sensations flow in your body. No need to block anything. Any feelings that come, just let them be alive. Let yourself be in there. And there is no need to explain it. There is no need to like package it up or anything that there was feelings. I, I felt you. I felt you in the sounds that you were making. I felt your feelings. And it was powerful. Is there anything that you want to say about how that was for you or what's alive with you right now? Yeah, the, this, the different feelings that like, like I had a part in forming what happened and, and then And then there was this like kind of sadness and joy, this joy at the end just started to like sparkle and, and and there's this like joy and sadness together Yeah. Like this, this kind of remembering about how, how it's possible to be a, an instrument, with like not using words and <laughs> Yeah, let let those feelings be there, Nicole. Take take a moment to feel it. Take a moment to let it let it be as big as it is. This feeling, that feeling. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Go. Yes. What is your sadness telling you? I feel sad about it's like it's some it's similar to when I'm out in the forest and there's these trees and this smell and and I try to take a picture and I look at the picture later and I think, oh this just this isn't it. And it's as if I've been relating to like my musical capacity or myself as an instrument as this like music or song or sound and i've totally been forgetting the experience of like being a, a sound creator like a a musical being like like i've pretty much forgotten i for, i've i've been living as if i'm not a musical being and i feel sad about that yeah <laughs> and i feel glad to to find it to remember to experience it again Yeah, so I hear that you, 
you sort of put it into a picture. It was flat and your musical beat was flat and it was reduced to concepts. It was reduced to something that was like almost like outside of you. Yeah, and something like trite and like 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 I would I would I honestly I'm I'm seeing it now that that when other people would want to do like make sounds I was like that's so like I judge it I mean when when somebody sings or or and it touches me I I'm I'm touchable by it but just to make sounds to as a communication of sound and feeling just I was <sighs> judging that as it like a waste of time yeah <laughs> yeah yeah even though on another on another hand I also have been holding this value of for example in emotional healing processes when the sounds happen i'm like that is a sound healing when when you allow your body to make those sounds this is healing and i've been giving that value and yet not giving this other kind of way of being a sound instrument for Yeah, for no reason, for for the joy yeah. of it, for the yes. aliveness of it. Yes, and I'm I'm remembering at, at the first time we did this, you 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 mentioned about the vibration that you were feeling in your body, that yeah. that this was vibrating your body, and and I think it's connected with that, like, like and and how it was like even when you were in silence you could still feel your your body vibrating i think you, you sent say something like that yeah I, i'm i can still feel it like it's this yeah. tingling all over and, and i'm getting to that this is sort of like the beginning like this, like, like, like you, you, like we're touching, that like you're touching on, on this sensation and this feeling, and that there, is, and that there is a, like you, that there is an, where is a space that you can have more of this? Yeah. Yeah, and yeah, I, I can see how, I can see how. <laughs> I can see how my modern culture thought where has put singing and music and sound in a box. Like really limit it to what's valuable about it. And even though I have all this, these next culture edgy kind of attitudes and it still has been so much in a box. I feel glad to see that. And I feel glad to have the possibility of like, I could do this really delicious, nourishing activity and that it would be healing for my physical body, that it would be nourishing for my energetic and emotional bodies that, and who knows what might happen. Like it's so, like, yeah. I, I'm, I didn't expect this. I, I thought it would be cool and extraordinary. And it's just like, holy shit. Wow. I, I want to use this energy that you have right now yeah. uh, for doing another experiment for three more minutes, about three more minutes of noticing that, that how you put music inside of a box about like, what is what it is and how it is defined and what it can do and, and this like place of knowing like you already know and 
to uh, use your sounds in these experiments to 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 uh, to, uh, to explore that to go beyond that box to 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 notice to ask you with this question like what is beyond that box and and use your sounds and your intention to to navigate your being outside of that box where it wants to go where it wants to go and and i propose we do this uh, you do this for about three minutes and do you have any questions about this no okay go ahead whenever you're ready Go. Keep using your feelings, <laughs> using your feelings to explore this. Yes. Stay with the vibration and let's do this a little bit longer. come to a pause. Yeah, and when you're ready, say, what's right there for you? Uh, try not to talk about it, but to uh, to say what what came alive for you what what is alive for you right now what is music for you now a, a way to a way to play my part a way to send out send something out broadcast and then listen No 
noticing that the reality has got so many sounds in it and so much room for sound. Yes. like a new way to play with with reality or an old way that I'm remembering <laughs> exists. What's an experiment that you can do to, to play in that reality? I want to put an alarm on my phone three times a day at different times and just stop and yeah center ground bubble tune it like yeah really connect with my grounding cord drop this tension and and do this for like three however long and 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 like here and like harmonize play like join in the join in the song of reality the sounds of reality cool i feel i feel joy from your last experiment uh, from your, the, uh, this last exercise and seeing your aliveness like come through it. It's so it's so ref like it's just like alive it's aliveness and it's just like there, there nothing can predict that nobody else could make those sounds but Nicole Hadley Bradford <laughs> no <laughs> you know those, those are your so sounds like, it was so much like being a little music box too like a sound box like yeah like like lift the lid ooh, and then like wah, and just turn it inside out and like anything's possible like was so yes. cool yes. yeah and then after it was like okay can I like, i'll close up this box box again and i have it in my pocket anywhere i go i have it yes that's amazing the way you describe it, i could like feel it in my being uh, that openness and uh, we're coming to to the to the to the top of the hour and i, I yeah. wonder if you're okay to be here for another five minutes yes yes okay because there, there is something about the, the the openness and that that wild. This is where the life was music. I could feel you there, and I can feel you there. And I, I, this is when like it touches, like really, like where it like it's almost like a, a click button for a liquidity of the person that's performing or like singing and of the space. Like it turns the space into this like liquid space where you can like feel the vibration. And while while we're here, while you're here in this space, I, I want to tell you about the, the the five elements of music, which is these elements that that can kind of like create this structure for you to to have a, a guiding point to come back to, like that you can like go outside into this like wow, and uh, you know like something like that like wild, and then like that you have like this container. And this that this uh, this will be the five elements of music that you can come back to uh, in the form of uh, creating a uh, yeah like going back to to music going back to to like a, a, like a platform like this is a platform uh, of uh, where where you can walk and and create and be be music be a shared thing. Yeah. Uh, something like that and uh, yeah like you like if you have a paper like make a a drawing of your hand uh, and i don't have a table right now so i can't do it but i'll do it here and yeah you, you stress your hand around and this will be a challenge to do it in five minutes but i'm up for the challenge <laughs> of delivering this map. This is the map of music. 
uh, or the map of the, the five elements of music. You draw a hand like that. Got it. Okay. And, okay, uh, the, the, the first element, uh, I'm going to start with the index finger. So the first element is the, the individual, the one, this uh, one, one note at a time, and it's your voice. Like your voice is the storyteller, is the, the kind of like the protagonist in the story, the individual. And is the singer, the person that's singing, uh, or uh, or the person that's doing the solo in the song? Uh, some, if there is a solo in the song, or if there is a, a melody that's guiding the the song, uh, that, that that's the melody. That is the melody. The first element of music is melody, which is the this individual person. Uh, so you write down in the in the finger. You write down melody. And this is the characteristic of this is that it goes one step at a time, one one note at a time. Sorry, I, I did it really fast. I just go like that. Melody. Got it. Uh, the the second the second element of music is the the middle finger, which I I go like this sometimes. Uh, and this is like uh, uh, this was my way of reclaiming my middle finger, uh, reclaiming this uh, modern culture, modern culture thing. And is that the harmony? Yeah. Uh, this is harmony. So when when mm. uh, is harmony is the the teamwork, uh, like how do notes work together? How do they sound together? How do these notes sound together? When you put one note and another note together, how do they sound together? For example, if you're making a note and I make another note, uh, what is the quality of, of those notes? And it can be harmonizing or disharmonizing, or it yeah. can be those notes can be creating tension or they can be creating relaxation or brightness or darkness, uh, sadness, joy. Um, anger, like it can create those those feelings. It can be like fear. So this like this is the combination of three or more notes when you combine three or more notes. And and it's usually what's backing backing the melody. The behind the melody there is a harmony, and this this harmony the melody plays on the on the harmony. Cool. So that's the second element of music. And my, when I learned this, my teacher, he, he made me guess all of them, uh, which was a pretty cool experiment. And I invite you, if you're delivering this map, that, that you can make, like, if you have a bit more time, that you can get the person to guess what the elements of music are. Yeah. And it creates this, like, more exploratory process. Boom. Okay. I go into the next. The next uh, element uh, is the... Uh, uh, on the on the annular finger and is the the cycles the rhythm is rhythm mm. and and this is everything that is connected with cycles with on and off with breathing so for example breathing the cycles of the sun how it comes on and it goes off the cycles those cycles, the cycle of the moon, how it goes from full to, to empty to full to empty, the cycles of the seasons. Even when you are walking, there is a rhythm. When you are breathing, there is a rhythm. Your heartbeat has a rhythm. So I, this is for people that, that say, I'm, I'm not good at rhythm or something like that. Then you can say, like, how can you tell that? Like, how can you even say that? There is, you, are, you are made out of rhythm. So... <laughs> you can't be out of rhythm. <laughs> so walking, even talking, there is rhythm in talking. Uh, there is a rhythm in the space. And and yeah, like all of these elements that I'm telling you, like they can be. You can use these elements to detect the the quality of the space. When you're holding space, you can detect how is the melody, how is the harmony, how is the rhythm of the space, and and the other two elements that I haven't said yet. The, the pinky element is the uh, difficult one, and it's the, the, uh, it's the silence. 
the the sec the la the fourth element of music is silence. Uh, and, uh, and yeah, do you do you do you want to say something about it? What is that for you? I can't remember where I where I heard this, but it said music is made up of notes and the space between the notes. Yes. <laughs> silence. <laughs> yes. That's exactly it. It's the space in between. Uh, and and also uh, it's uh, at the beginning and at the end of of, of oh, music. Yeah. So before a song starts, there there was silence, and then the song starts, uh, and then there is the the pauses in between. Same when when we're talking, there is uh, the pauses in between each word, because otherwise it will be like and there wouldn't be like a space for it. So that that's part of music. And at the end too, when 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 it ends, then there is a the ending of the sound. Uh, uh, cool. Those are the four ba basic elements. And now there is the the tom one, which uh, I don't know if you like to guess it. We like to guess it. What that is? I can't guess. <laughs> okay. So the, you have like melody, which is a, this one-to-one, uh, one, one by one, the, the harmony, you got rhythm, you got volume or sound or silence. W what else is needed? What, what else were you using to, to create those sounds or to create music? What else is used to create music? I don't know, I can't think of what. Mm -hmm. Maybe it'll be a homework. Okay. <laughs> it'll be a homework to to think. And uh, if you wanna if you wanna cheat, the, there is a video that I made on on <laughs> this. <laughs> this is not school. I can cheat. <laughs> I'll give myself a few days though. It's a pretty cool. It's a cool question to to be in, and, and I, I'm. Yeah, I want to be in that question for a bit. Being value, like what is that? What is that fifth element of, of music? And and you can like also like, if you done like a little bit of like mudra or like palm reading, you like this this finger. It can give you a hint of, of what is. Yeah, yeah, it's mm -hmm. got to be something thumbish. Thumbish, something thumbish. Yeah. Great. Okay, I'll see if I get it. Uh, I'm glad. I'm glad we did Thank this, you. Nicole. And yeah, there is like uh, my my necessity now is to create a space where I can keep practicing this, like once a week, something like that, with a team. Um, yeah. Uh, and wow. so that so that I can like go into that liquid space of of, of expressing, where going into my sadness and and uh, that I have like I can do this with a team and being seen and also like uh, holding that space for others so they can go there. Cool. Mm. Wow. Mm, thank thank you. you. Thank you. Was there anything else before we end this call? Nope. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy being a musical instrument. Da 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 Thank you, Jorge. Cool. Thank you, Nicole. And thank Goodbye you for, for now. Yeah, thank you for calling in for this space. It's an honor. It's an honor. For me too. Alrighty. Okay, bye for now. <laughs>